Alright, hello, welcome back to the uh, Let's Play of Lost Planet 3. Last time we uncovered a brand new cave. Let's see what we with got. With a whole here. bunch of those swarm missile critters popping out of it. Where does this go? After drilling a whole bunch of tea energy. Stuff. A map. Rib tunnel. That's never a good sign. Usually means made by some sort of worm. Kind of you can't adjust the pace at which I walk. But otherwise I'd walk without rhythm, but would not attract the worm. Bad idea. So bad of that idea to be an animaniac. But okay. Oh, cutscene. That's that's actually better. Sorry, I drilled outside the lines or whatever. But how can I help if you won't explain it to me? What is this place? Not a place. Nushi. Nushi? The name Saichi gave her means oh. godlike Leviathan. A source of pure tea energy. No. The whole planet is the source. She purifies. And provides to those who accept without taking. She is the engine, the organ by which all things of our world are brought into harmony. Wait, so she's a harmonizer? Some giant organic harmonizer? No, no, no. The technology knew she inspired has long outlived those who ever knew her secret. But you're skipping ahead. Go back a second. When I drilled the acred attack, like antibodies defending a host. Which you knew. You'd seen that before. The frenzy that overran the first colony. Uh-oh. I was a scientist for Nevik. It was I who led Nevik's drills to her flesh. I knew she was alive. Yet in my ambition and arrogance, I let them drill regardless. Like any living thing, she fears. This she is angers, quite she a different thing to Gaia. Her high, will she not bleed? Theory. Stab her heart. Will she not die? She deserved to be protected. And I failed her. There are those who believe that pure tea energy could be the discovery that saves mankind. If we can find a way, as you did, to harvest it respectfully. What if Nushi could sustain the Earth? Look at the lives we could save. Please don't say humanity is not worth saving. You are young, Jim. You have the dreams of a soul untouched by malice. But respectfully is That's not fair. Nevik's way. They would come to her with drills, and she would defend herself. And if she did not destroy them, they would surely destroy her. They would bleed this planet dry, and leave no trace of life. Jim, a 
above all else. Nevik must never know about Lucci. Oh, crap. Um, okay, so here's where the conflict's going to come in. Nevik's going to find out about Lucci and have to decide whether to fight Nevik. Or side with Nevik and obviously when fighting Nevik at the risk of never coming home again. So how is it so we're approaching the point where how they execute that decision is going to be a big deal. Unless, the, unless Nevik takes the decision away from us and says, Alright, you're an outlaw, you can't go home. That explains why you get the increase of growth of uh, critters and other stuff around where I do a key energy post. It's basically scab tissue. That's actually fairly that's a pretty clever idea. No, this takes me straight to Shackleton's Peak. That's why I can't access the Shackleton's Peak. Yep. On the fast travel, if you're going directly to the next destination... Gracie, hi. I don't ever want to keep you waiting again. I really don't. I just... don't know what to say right now. This job... is a lot more complicated than I ever figured it for. I'm trying to put us first. Stick to the plan. Earn what there is to earn, and get on home. I do what's in front of me, what seems right. Sometimes I wonder just what exactly the hell I got myself into. Beach sounds nice, though. Yeah. We have gotten our bad selves into a pickle of the finest and highest order. Like Chipotle pepper filled pickle. Now I'm making myself hungry. Sure, Chipotle pepper, pepper dill pickle would be a, of the highest order. I, I don't know if you'd actually get the smoky taste of Chipotle pickle brine as opposed to like jalapenos. Nobody knows anything about pickling. Let me. Know. Oh, crap. Well, um, that simplifies things. I apparently called it. She tried to play ball and Nevik just killed her. You've declared war. We need your best hunters, preferably ones without children. This is gonna get bloody. But what of our plan to, to bring our people together to it's persuade It's too late for that, Mira. For decades, I teach my people peace. 
Now you would have us march to be fair, they declared it. Roman's research is what led me to Nushi. Now Nevik has it, and it's only a matter of time. Your men, your Corona's crew, they'll fight alongside us, won't they? Can't count on that. Maybe if I had time to explain who you are. But I've been lying to them so long. It's best we leave them out of it. Suppose we succeed. They will call for reinforcements. Return with greater numbers. Yes, that's why step one is the relay. As long as his cruiser is grounded on EDN-3, Eisenberg needs the satellite relay to broadcast off-planet. So we're gonna need to blow it up. I can do that. Once you turn against your masters, how do you expect to ever see your family again? You would strand yourself here. We won't destroy the cruiser, we commandeer it. Once we break Nevek's grip, we give everyone a choice to stay or go. And once you go, how long before Nevek returns again to look for their lost? Before we destroy the relay, we'll hack it. Use it to send a message. Got an idea that should buy you another 50 years. The relay gambit doubles as a diversion. When Eisenberg sends troops to investigate, your forces will be ready to hijack the cruiser before they even think of returning it to orbit. We will be ready. Jim, I can handle the explosives, but I haven't a hacker skill. On that part, we're gonna need a little help. I am so in. Really? But well, I haven't explained I it. I assumed it has something to do with the snow princess you've been hanging out with. It's cool. I saw her on your rig's video feed. I figured you'd explain it when the time was right. Jim, I know who I trust. I trust you. Just say the word. That's cool. Okay, Holden. You're a remarkable young man. Nobody's ever called me a man before. Probably because they thought you'd say that. <laughs> oh. Well. Things just went to crap. Next time, we get our war on. <laughs>